Hola chicos, hi guys. For those of you who are new here, hi, my name is Em and thank you for joining. To make these comfortable beach trousers, how I started was I basically traced the crotch seam of a pair of trousers which I already had and then measured the sides or the leg seams to the length that I wanted them to be. I did this on my lightweight pattern fabric and cut four pieces. And to do that, I folded the fabric in half and then in half again. The bottom of the leg, I wanted it to be more like a wide leg. So I basically changed the shape of the bottom of the trouser from straight to almost like a triangle shape. Do you remember to leave some seam allowance when you're cutting out your pieces? Because otherwise your trousers are going to be too tight. And now that you have your four pieces, for each two pieces you want to set them right sides together. So like the pretty side of the fabric together and then sew along the crotch seam. Now you should have two pieces, a front piece and a back piece. You want to attach your two pieces together by joining them at the crotch and by sewing along the inner leg seams. I also sewed from my waist area till about where you can see where my shorts ended as I wanted to create a slit on the leg that wasn't the typical like by the ankle, I wanted it a little bit more high. And for the other side I realised I wanted it to be a little bit more fitted and because my fabric isn't stretched I had to use a zip so I was able to get in and out of my trousers. As you can see now, I'm attaching the zip to my trousers. I'm facing the front of the zip to the inside or where all the right sides of the fabric are. And then folding the seams over so when, you, when it's right side out, that the seams are tucked in and there's no raw edges. If you would like to see a video where I explain a little bit more about this, then do click in the link below, as I have a tutorial on how I did a zip on a bag that I made. Here I made a little bit of a mistake as I wanted to kind of conceal the zip as much as possible. So I folded over the fabric a little bit more and then sewed it closer so it looked more tidy or more hidden. <laughs> Don't mind me messing around. <laughs> now following the zip, you want to finish the edges around where the zip are, fold them over and basically just sew them just giving them a nice finished edge. And then afterwards, you want to fold the top over as this will act as our waistband and make sure you leave enough space that you can poke your finger through. I tacked the fold of the waistband at every single seam so it wasn't as noticeable, so I didn't have one line of thread across my waist but through those gaps you want to poke through the ribbon that we have as this will be our belt you don't have to choose the same ribbon i have you can use any kind of ribbon it is really your choice and we're almost there we're almost finished Now concerning the bottom of our trousers where our feet are going to go through, I wanted the bottom of our trousers to be closed to kind of maintain that wide leg shape or the style. So I sewed about 14 inches up the side of my leg. What we did earlier with the zip area is actually called hemming. So we basically just want to hem the edges of where the slit is gonna be and also the bottom of our trousers. This will give it a nice finished and professional look. And we're done. These trousers were so easy to make and believe me, they are so comfortable. <laughs> I'm so excited to create more DIYs on this channel. So please leave a like on this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more. 
But until my next video, ciao queridos.